Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add color changing to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, color changing is what it seems like, is watching Gorilla Tag. You can change your color, you know, it has the numbers and stuff. The link to the package that we'll be using will be in the description to download it. You'll also be in my Discord server, link in the description, which you should join if you need any help or if something doesn't work for you, or if you just want to be part of my awesome community. Anyways, like and subscribe, it helps me out so much. And yeah, let's get into the video. So here we are in our project. First of all, what you want to do, download the color package. I don't know exactly who made it originally, so whoever made it, shout out to you. So to get the package, as I said, either go to my Discord server, scroll down a bit and get it. There'll be a color changer channel. You can just download it there, or you can go to the link in the description and download that Unity package there. It doesn't matter, it's the same thing. But once you get it, you can drag it into Unity or right click here, Go to import package and then custom package find the package and double click on it and it'll show up here and then you can just click import and everything that you need will import into your unity project now if you go into your scripts folder if you have one if not it might make one for you i don't know but go into your scripts folder and find color and in color here you'll see this thing here you can just drag it in and boom there it is so now i'm just gonna rotate this like this and i'm gonna place it onto here now if you're wondering why the colors are pink you can just change the colors of this so what you do here in your hierarchy on the left here Right click on the color, go to prefab and click unpack completely. All of the scripts should be on everything already, so you won't have to deal with that. Then go to your materials folder if you have one. If not, you know, you can just make a new material by right clicking, create, and then material down here. And then you can just change, you know, the color of your material or whatever. And then this top one here is red. So here you can add the red color on this. This middle one is actually green. It says it's blue, but it's actually green. So this one's green. And then the bottom one, of course, is blue. And now on all of the keys, just so they don't look pink, you can select them all by clicking on one of them and then holding out shift and clicking this. And then, you know, click control and then shift and then control, click that shift you know just make sure all of those are highlighted and then drag on you know whatever color you want so i'm just gonna put on white so it all looks white and here we go so now the second part of this you need to make sure you follow my photon vr tutorial the link will be in the description with that because this only works with the photon vr so once you have that in go to resources photon vr and then player then i'm assuming you have a player model because if you don't then well why would you be watching this tutorial or if you have the default photon vr player model that's fine too if you have that one everything will already be set up but if you have a different one then some things will need to change which is what we're going to be doing now so here on color objects there might be four things here but they are going to be empty assuming you have a new player model you can just clear all of those out by clicking the minus here and then what you need to do as an example i just want to show you what will happen if we click the plus here and try and drag the material that changes the color so in this case this is the material that changes color here if we try and drag that onto this it won't drag on and that's because this says mesh renderer and your model will most likely have a skin mesh renderer and a skin mesh renderer happens when you rig a model in blender so if you have a rigged model from blender which well you have to have to make a gorilla tag fan game it'll be a skin mesh renderer so what you're going to do go to your player here and in your photon vr player script click these three dots here go down to edit script and click that and now visual studio code will load and now you want to find here it says public list mesh renderer color objects instead of mesh renderer right before that just put skinned mesh renderer right and then down here on line 85 or if you're using the new photon vr version it might be a different line so you can just click Control and f and then search for mesh renderer and then find everything that mentions mesh renderer which in my case is just this and right before it says mesh render once again add skinned make sure skinned is capitalized and make sure you add no spaces at all. And then once you did all of that, you can just click the save button up here and X out of that. Now, as you can see, we have the skin mesh render object here. That is the thing that'll be changing color. Now, if we try dragging it onto the color objects, it'll drag on. If you have other objects that you want to change the color of, so let's say I want to change the color of this too, you can drag that on here too, but I'm not going to do that because that'll look kind of weird. This model already looks kind of weird, let's be honest. But that's not all you have to do. Now, in the Photon VR folder here, you get to by going to resources and then Photon VR. You're going to go to assets and then you'll see a player material here now for me this player material is pink because i added urp to my game if you did add urp to your game just click this go to edit rendering materials and convert whatever but the majority of you probably didn't import urp so just don't do that but now you want to select the object that changed the color with skin mesh renderer and drag on this player material here right onto there 
and boom, there we go. Then you can save that and go back. Now here we're gonna test it out. So let's just click the play button here. And now if we drag our gorilla rig here, we can see right now the model by default is black. You can change the default material if you want. You know, you can make it whatever. But then once they enter in a color, it'll change this automatically. But now as you can see, if we click this, it'll change the color. But if we click down on it, this row is actually blue and this row is green. And that one's red, of course. And also, I forgot to say, make sure that your left hand and right hand controller are set up as you can see on the screen here. So they both have a hand tag and they both have a layer. The left hand should have a layer called left hand and the right hand should have a layer called right hand. Make sure that the tag is spelled exactly as you can see. And on both of those, add a sphere collider with is trigger turned on and a radius of 0.06. If you don't do that, then this won't work. So make sure that you do that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. You honestly don't even understand. Understand. I know I say it in every single video, but it makes a huge impact on me. So please like and subscribe. Once again, this package will be my Discord server link in the description, and there will be a Google Drive link to it if you don't have Discord or something. Also, join my Discord server if you need any help with this or any of my tutorials, or if you just want to be part of my awesome community, because I'm active in that server every single day. I'm in VCs and stuff, so if you want to talk to me, that's the best way. Also, please consider becoming a channel member because you get so many awesome perks for only $2 a month. And one of the perks that you get is a shout out at the end of every single video I make, just like the people on the screen right now anyways guys like and subscribe comment down below tutorials you want and yeah guys that's it for me today peace